What are three things that I always keep in my pantry as a board certified psychiatrist who eats for my own brain health? I'm Dr. Brooke and this is Cook with Dr. Brooke where we talk about the connection between nutrition and mental health outcomes. And the first thing that I reach for every single morning and is never not stockpiled in my pantry is of course coffee. I'm an avid coffee drinker, I drink it every morning, but the quality of sleep is poorer when you have caffeine in your system. So while I enjoy the energy boost in the morning and the extra edge of clarity, and I really also like the flavor and taste of coffee and it gives me something to look forward to when my alarm goes off, I do limit it to a few servings a day just in the morning, but I will never go without completely. The number two item that I always have on hand, probably like multiple in many amounts, this is a fraction of the pesto that I have in my pantry right now. So pesto, it's an Italian sauce condiment dressing. Traditionally, I mean, the most basic form that you see a lot of the time is gonna be basil, pine nuts, olive oil, salt, maybe lemon juice. Um, and you can find different varieties of that in different proportions or different flavors. So this is like the basil pesto from Aldi. It's a couple of bucks. We also have a sun-dried tomato pesto, really tasty. This is the Dollar Tree one. I've talked on this channel many times before about how the most evidence-based diet for positive mental health outcomes is the Mediterranean diet, which is gonna include a lot of olive oil. So even though they're pretty high in calories, sauces like this are gonna be a brain healthy addition to your foods. And I like to keep them on hand. Really tasty, pretty healthy ways to zhuzh up meals, whether that's a salad dressing or a marinade or a sandwich. Um, a little scoop of this can go a really long way in the flavor world and it has pretty healthy ingredients. I also like to make my own pesto and I even freeze some when the garden is very plentiful, but a lot of times it's just more convenient to reach in the pantry and grab a jar of this. And they're pretty affordable, they taste great, and they're adding great ingredients to my meals. The third thing that I always have on hand as somebody with a sweet tooth is some dark chocolate. It tastes great, it has great antioxidants and polyphenols and is a wonderful addition to my quality of life and also for my brain health. If you guys want a full tour of all of the stuff that I have in my pantry, other brain healthy ingredients, other like splurgy, enjoyable ingredients, things that I like to have on hand to cook with and eat in my day-to-day -day life, then check out my YouTube channel for a long form video where I'm gonna go through a whole pantry tour. If you made it this far, it's probably because you care about your mental health or the mental health of somebody else in your life. If you wanna learn more about the connection between nutrition and mental health, then follow along and take care of yourselves, guys.